Hi friends. It's that time. I got a box and an opener. We're cutting. I'm in between meetings, but I'm impatient and I just am like, let's go. Oh gosh, let's go. I can't wait a moment longer. This came right before a meeting. I was like, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can manage it. Um, oh, I got like a bookmark. Oh, fountain pen day bookmark. Why am I getting anything that's advertising fountain pen day the day before fountain pen day, Maria? Can we talk about that for a minute? Are you really that impatient? Yeah, you all know I am. Um, let's see. try and be good. So, I suspect y'all know what's in here. Or you think you do. Did you guess right? Did you guess right? I got some inks. Do, do, do. What did I get? Got a box that won't open. Oh, right. I got some white lightning ink additive. I didn't think I had got three bottles of ink, so I'm glad. This is to, you put this in, it's a lubricant, basically. Um, so I'm going to try it. Because why not? And then, this is so funny because I just watched Manda's swatch video in which she got this ink. Um, but, look, I ordered this. This is not a case of Manda made me do it. I ordered this before I saw her video. So this is Van Diemen's Snowy Mountain Sunset. Let's do some swatching. I brought stuff. I didn't order a whole bottle. I felt really proud of myself. Um, oh, but apparently I didn't, I also didn't bring my uh, paintbrush. Or did I? I paused. Okay, it's go time. And give this a shake because this is a shimmery ink. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna suck to do with this. Can I fit the word mountain there? No. Can I fit any part of this on here? Do you know how to write, Maria? <laughs> I had things that I was gonna talk to you about and then I forgot. We're just gonna, you know what? Oh, this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. I know what we're gonna do, it's fine. This is the right thing to do. Um, and it's a valid thing to do. So I remember uh, Simone, Simone, who I really love watching, uh, recently did a video review of uh, Ink Flight. So 
it's brilliant. She does such a great job. She covers so many of the reasons that I really like it. I know that's one word. We're not getting into it, okay? Um, and holy cow, I love, like some of the things were things that I definitely like, but I had never talked about with myself or, you know what I mean? And... Anyway, I'll link to it. And also just watch her videos because she's awesome. I don't have any Tamoy River paper around, so all we're going to get, all we're going to get is um, on these cards. I'm, I'm thinking I possibly should have just bought a bottle of this, but... We're responsible. We're responsible. We're not responsible, but we pretend. Oh, heavens. Oh, my. Look at that paper. Well, paper towel, Maria. Beautiful. Oh my. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. This is gorgeous. I think this is the one that someone asked Amanda how similar it was to Lockby. And when they said that, I was like, oh, no, it does look similar. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I didn't love that ink. But I don't think this does look that way. We'll see. Then, oh, here's a shocker. Sort of. Get what? What? Hi. Got a bottle of ink. That makes up for the other one. That's some, some pretty okay writing right there. Got some KWZ grapefruit. Yeah, I have a swatch card of this because it, from the sample, but um, after seeing differences in some of my samples that I got a bottle of, I felt like this is a legitimate practice. Or at least between two samples of the same ink. Got a little blurring there. So I picked my orange. I own an orange ink now. Who have I become? Who am I even? It doesn't smell as vanilla-y. I had heard they toned it down. Such is life. And did I see where this is all from? It's 
from Van Ness. I was double checking that because I was like, what if I said the wrong store? And then this one from Pannonia. Casmuve's Total Tol Tinta. Difficult to clean. <gasps> Fel Rasando Shake Before Use. So this ink is weird. This is Strigoi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So last year, Pannonia put out an ink called Draculae, Draculea. And I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly either. Um, based on the idea of Dracula, I mean, it was a red ink with um, black pigment in it, which acts like shimmer, sort of like undissolved black pigment. And this is its inverse, or you know, however you wanna put that, this is a black ink with red pigment, so. You know what I want to do is I want to like get my glass nib in there and just be like, get out of that corner. Maybe that's not a bad idea. I just looked at the clock. I gotta hurry. Got the boo -doo boo boo for my meeting. Let's make sure she's really clean before we dip it into a bottle. Oh yeah, this is clean now. <laughs> so shh, shake it some more. So anyway, I says to Mabel, I says, I'm gonna be here all day. What I'm gonna do is pause this video, continue delightfully shaking this ink and resume the video. Okay, I actually just did some very vigorous shaking that felt bad to do because it feels like that's not what you're supposed to do. It settles pretty quickly.
coat. We'll see what this looks like when it's dry. So far it's just black. But I'm also okay with that because I don't mind having a black ink that is just like a little bit more interesting than black. So, um, while we're waiting for this, uh, I guess I can open up the last thing that I hid from you. <laughs> now, if you're guessing what this is, you're wrong. Because you all know me too well to have guessed correctly. I got the new Twisby, but with a medium nib. What? Um, I'll admit I got a medium nib because they didn't have broad when I ordered. But I had been thinking of getting another one with a medium nib because maybe sometimes it can't always be broad or maybe it shouldn't always be broad. So what, what ink should I put in it? I mean, here's the thing. It is 30 inks, 30 days. And so I really have no business filling this. But what I could do is I have two options that I have to think through right now. I could either, because I'm doing randomly generated samples, I could either randomly pick one and ink it up for tomorrow. Or I could just put this in it. What do you think? I mean, friends, this is pretty good. So I did, did I say, this is a Twisby Eco in the newly released Glow Purple. Um, I think what I might do later if I can, but not part of this video, is compare this with the... Uh, well, maybe I can do this because they're both right here with my Banu because this glows in the dark too. The pink parts do. Let's pause and think about that. I thought about it. Let's close the curtains and turn off some lights. See what we can do. Here's this switch. Now, it's not like it's super dark. What are, what are, you, are you stuck on? Are you stuck on? You're stuck on the table again. But, yeah, that works. I'm going to do this. I'm going to charge them up, okay? I'm going to pause. Does it show? Yeah, a little bit. So that's the Bennu. It glows a greeny blue. And then the glow purple you can see is glowing more blue. It's just because I have this UV light here that I'm charging it with. There you go. Let's turn, should I turn the lights on like magic? Magic! <laughs> um, so anyway, I got the glow purple. I think I may as well put this in it. I want to use it. May as well. Shake it up again. So, um, I already filmed, oh God, shnikes, sorry, I already filmed tomorrow's 30 inks, because I'm doing that in the morning, 
so many things just almost went bad right then. I don't know if you saw that. Um, so you'll see this on 30 inks. You know, Saturday. Unless you don't watch 30 inks. Um, also, I hope you don't mind the spoiler. Now you're probably like, oh, well, now I don't need to watch your video Saturday. I already know what it's going to be. Yeah, well, true. You don't. Um, do I have a piece of paper I can write on? What is this invoice? How? How? We just saw. We just saw me fill it. Hello. So, here's uh, here's how stuff looks. This is beautiful. So this is Van Diemen's Snowy Mountain Sun set. KOWZ Grapefruit, which won my orange challenge. And not just because it smells like vanilla. And here is this Pannonius Turigoli. This is pretty wonderful. It does have this hint of red about it. And I wonder, like, over time how this will actually act in a pen. To my eyes, this is a pretty dang black, black. Um, I'll do some more writing and um, potentially we'll see this in 30 inks, like maybe the end of the month, but we'll, I don't know, because that would be against my plans for the, which were two, two samples. So thanks for hanging out while I look at my new stuff. Hooray capitalism. Not really, but I'm weak. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Bye.